Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Falling Over Books. For today's video I'm doing a TV show related one and this is my top 10 favorite TV shows of all time. So I'm going to count down from 10 to 1. So coming in at number 10 is Schitt's Creek and this is a Canadian show. It's on CBC. It has three seasons and the fourth season is about to start sometime, probably in the fall. And in the US, I do believe you can watch it on Pop TV. I don't I don't know what that channel is, but apparently that's where you can watch it. It's also on Netflix Canada. And Schitt's Creek is about this rich family. They suddenly go broke and they essentially have to leave their like really rich house and their rich city and everything to move to this town that they bought a really long time ago as a joke called Schitt's Creek and so they move there now and they have to kind of get back into their lives while being broke. I just love the show. I think it's super funny. It has a very like dry Canadian humor I feel like. I feel like maybe not a lot of like US people would get it but if you grow up in a really small town you'll probably like understand a lot of things and like get the jokes and everything. I just find it really funny and entertaining and this is a show I don't get sick of so I could watch it over and over again and like still laugh so yeah I'm really excited for season four and I highly recommend you check this show out oh yeah and if, if I forgot to say this is a sitcom so it's like half an hour coming in at number nine is True Blood this show is no longer on air but it was on HBO from 2008 to 2014, so it has seven seasons. And this show I actually started watching after it finished. Like, I didn't watch it while it was on air because I just wasn't into it. I was more into, like, the Vampire Diaries at the time, so... True Blood follows a telepathic waitress named Suki Stackhouse. And she encou encounters a vampire and things kind of escalate from there. And in this show, like, vampires are, like, a known thing. They're, like, known. Does that make sense? Um, so, yeah, it's a really cool show. There's lots of, like, sex and nudity and violence and all that jazz. So if you are not okay with that, then... I would, you know, maybe stay away from the show, but other than that, like, it's such a great show. Um, I really loved it, and I loved the way that ended. I know a lot of people didn't like the ending, but I personally liked it. I just felt like it was true to the story and to the characters. I don't know, I just really liked it. Yeah, it has, like, fairies and werewolves and vampires and all of, like, the things, so... <laughs> It's really just a fun show and I feel like this show took me a couple episodes to get into but then I was kind of like into it and yeah I really like it. Coming in at number eight is Rain and this was on the CW. It has since finished from this year. It ran from 2013 to 2017 and it has four seasons. And this show follows Mary, Mary Queen of Scots when she arrives at a uh, French court. And yeah, it's very, like, very CW-ish. And I still loved it. I loved the characters. And honestly, I probably would have quit the show if it weren't for Adelaide... Kane who plays Mary I think I would have left a really long time like I would have quit probably after like season two but I just love her acting and I loved her portrayal of Mary so I kept watching and yeah the show's great if you like uh historical tv shows or like you know historical fiction shows it is pretty like dramatic and over the top especially like in the first season like it's very teenagery but it gets better I feel like as the seasons go on and you just feel for the characters I just love the show and yeah I also made a video like goodbye goodbye rain 
my goodbye train or something like that. <laughs> it hasn't been that long ago, but I literally can't remember. So um, I will link that video down below where I discuss the season finale and this just the show overall. So please go check that out. Coming in at number seven is Ghost Whisper. And this show ran from 2005 to 2010 and it had five seasons and it was on CBS. And this show, I think I watched from 2005. Like, it, I was so young that I like don't really fully remember <laughs> and I need to desperately do a TV, TV show rewatch but I do love this show. I believe it was canceled without having a proper ending, which for me, I don't remember even the last season of the show. So I feel like maybe I didn't watch it or maybe I forgot what happened, but I need to rewatch it. That's why I'm like, but it's still on my list of favorite shows because I just, I really love uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt who played Melinda Gordon in the show. And she was just fantastic. This show is about this girl who has the ability to talk to the dead and to help them pass on to um, and the other world, other life, other universe, whatever you want to call it, um, to the other side. And she has to help these spirits or whatever, um, you know, move on so that they can pass to the other side and so she has to help them right their wrongs all that kind of stuff it's kind of scary so don't watch this alone in the dark you may get scared I just I just love the show it made me cry pretty much every episode I honestly I know some people will be like oh it's kind of religious I don't find it religious like I don't find it's not preachy in any way it's just more about like people dying and trying to fix their wrongs and moving on with life is how I see it. I don't know. I I didn't find it preachy. If you did, let me know why you felt it was. Yeah, it just had overall a really great cast and it kind of um, showcased the relationship between people and just how you interact with other people and how some strangers will come in your life and totally change your life and it's just it's such a great show it makes you cry it makes you feel good it makes you want to forgive people and just be a good person so i highly recommend the show coming in at number six is dawson's creek and this ran from 1997 1998 to 2003 uh this was on the the WB network, uh, which is like the Warner Bros network. And this obviously I didn't watch in 1998 because I was like two. Um, I watched this my second last year of high school, I think. Oh my gosh, I literally can't even remember when I watched the show. The show had six seasons and I just love the show. It is essentially about four friends in a small town and they just are growing up. So they're dealing with teenage stuff and relationships, friendships, family, all that kind of stuff. Do I have to say who I ship in the show? My heart is always with Pacey and Joey. I loved them. And um, I don't really want to spoil this for you, but I feel like it is a spoiler or like the show has been out for so many years. Like if you haven't watched it whatever but I kind of knew going in who was going to be endgame because I like totally didn't want to ship the wrong thing like I didn't want to have all those feelings but like I immediately knew when I started the show that I was like kind of like pacey the most so I love this show it's such a feel-good show it's it's such a good show I need it on DVD coming in at number five is Buffy the Vampire Slayer and this ran from 1997 to 2003 it has seven seasons and it was on the uh, WB network and then UPN or something like that. I don't know exactly what channel because I watched this on Netflix so let's, let's be real here. Oh my god I love this show. This is a show that I just really liked. <laughs> uh, if you don't know what Buffy's about, which I'm sure you do, it is about this young girl who is essentially destined to fight vampires and kill them and 
she has a great group of friends and yada 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 and it's just so good um it's very like old so if you cringe at old shows then you might not like this but i swear to you like you get over season one and you're like okay i'm in this show for good right do i also have to say who i ship in the show uh buffy and spike i love buffy and angel i'm not gonna like diss them or anything because I did I did like them like first couple seasons they were like it they were the thing but as seasons went on and things happened I was like I am into Spike and that is so random for me I usually like the nice guy but yeah this is a great show kick-ass female great friends very good I highly recommend if you have not seen it yet which I'm sure all of you have so and coming in at number four is Fringe and I've talked about this show before how much I love it it is literally like in my top five so I love Fringe this ran from 2008 to 2013 I actually watched this right after I finished Dawson's Creek because Joshua Jackson is also in the show so I was like yeah and this is about an FBI agent who uh, witnesses some like scientific weird thing and she then recruits this crazy scientist and his son to help uncover cases and stuff like um i don't know how to explain this show it's yeah they just uncover strange cases and um solve things like that super interesting i feel like a lot of people who like the x files would like this show or like any kind of sci-fi show I feel like you would love this show because it's very like sci-fi weird they have like a couple of episodes in like alternate universes so great uh and did I say this had five seasons and the show was on Fox by the way and it was created by JJ Abrams this show like emotionally scarred me you know that one season I hated those freaking seasons that were like you know where Livia, Peter, um, who is Peter? <laughs> yeah, that freaking season, I hate it. Like, don't even talk to me about that season. That season I pretty much always skip because I hate it. But anyways, I found the show super interesting. Olivia Dunham is a fantastic character. I love Anna Torv. Yeah, Olivia is such a badass and she's so strong and wonderful and beautiful and I just love her as a character. She's literally one of my favorite characters of all time she's just fantastic please go watch the show it's so great it needs more love coming in at number three is a one tree hill and this show ran from 2003 to 2012 and this was on the uh wb network but then moved over to the cw it was one of those shows that moved and this has nine seasons and it is essentially about um these teenagers in this small town called tree hill and it's more or less about these two brothers that are half brothers and they don't really know each other they don't really like they grew up very very separate and they don't really get along it's kind of com competition and everything and it's so great i love this show um there was like a couple seasons that went downhill but kind of picked it itself back up i loved it um i definitely shipped Lucas and Peyton and Nathan and Haley. Those are like my main ships in the show. But oh, the show is just so great. I have it on DVD. I have online seasons, you guys, because I love this show and like it's just it's just amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So good. You know, there's a couple episodes that made me cry, like sobbing. So good. I probably said that a million times in this video, but and coming in at number two is Ben and Kate. So you've probably never heard of the show because it ran for only one season from 2012 to 2013. And this is a comedy, so it is uh, half an hour. This was on Fox. And I just love the show. It is so, so, so funny. It has like my kind of humor, like stupid humor. And I just, I absolutely love it. It stars Dakota Johnson, which is, like, why I love this show so much, I feel like. But, like, all the other actors bring so much to the show that it's, like, perfect. It is about this um, young mom 
who she's trying to raise her daughter on her own and her brother kind of comes into town and he um, helps her out and he is like can't stick to jobs he's like a free spirit kind of guy and it is super funny and weird and I just love it. It has only like 16 episodes so it's something you just like binge and keep watching over and over again because it's just it's such a show like that and I love it. You should watch it. I don't know where you can watch it other than iTunes because I bought the whole show on iTunes. <laughs> so and it's coming in at number one. I feel like this is really no surprise because I talk about it in probably every TV show related video, and that is Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And this is a show that probably, I would say, if you asked me last year, this would probably be at number two or number three. But, like, I have been re-watching this over and over and over and over again for the last couple of months. And oh, I am just so obsessed with the show, this show <laughs> that I can't even talk right. So this is a uh, comedy, so it's obviously half an hour. It's currently on air. It started in 2013, and it got renewed for its fifth season, which will premiere, um, I wrote it down, September 26th. So you still have some time to watch it, catch up. And this is about a bunch of cops who work in a precinct, and they have to solve cases, and um, it's super funny and great. I know a lot of people who have watched either Parks and Rec and um, The Office might find this show not that funny. I feel like I know a lot of people who've watched the show and they're like, oh, it's not as funny. Like, I feel like I've seen this humor before. So you may not like it, but I highly recommend you give the first season a shot. I feel like it takes a couple episodes to really get into like the funny stuff. And the friendships are so great and the relationships in each character is so different. Like there are no characters that are similar and it's so diverse and just like like very aware and just it's so good i highly recommend this show and it's on netflix canada that i know so yeah but this is also on fox if i did not say did i i can't remember i'm super super excited for season five i need it asap because last season uh the season finale hello that was so shocking sad terrifying I don't know what's happening next season, but I'm super excited. So those were my top 10 favorite TV shows of all time. I hope this video wasn't super long, but uh, let me know down below what your favorite, your top 10 favorite TV shows are. And if you've seen any of the shows that I had on my list and what you think of them and whatnot. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give this a thumbs up and to subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.